Hello children, now we move on to the third module of the story, Priyanka's Little Turtle. In the first two modules, we saw how Priyanka got a baby turtle. She decided to keep it as a pet. She named it Kirti Varman. And then she went to baby mall to ask her how one must take care of the turtle. And then she brought that turtle home. She was very sure her grandmother will not allow her to keep this turtle. But then she had decided. So she made a very dramatic entry. And then suddenly what happened? When she had kept her school bag, the shoe box came out. And then from the shoe box what came? The baby turtle came out. Grandmother was shocked to see that. She started screaming and she told Priyanka, to throw that thing out of the house. Which thing children? The baby turtle. Now let's see what happens next. Page number 51. Kirti Varman was a peaceful creature. It slept most of the time. And when it was awake, it nibbled quite a bit. It had typical likes and dislikes. And Priyanka was totally absorbed in taking care of it. Now this baby turtle whom she had named as Kirti Varman, was a very peaceful creature. Turtles are like that, isn't it? They are not noisy animals. This baby turtle was also a calm animal and it slept most of the time. And when it was awake, it tried to eat quite a bit. Nibble means to eat. It had typical likes and dislikes. That means it liked certain foods and did not like certain food. And Priyanka was very busy taking care of it. She loved it like anything. So she devoted her time in taking proper care of this baby turtle. Now I move on to the next paragraph. Kirti was the new resident of the house that nobody else knew about. Priyanka had wondered where she could hide him. In the cupboard, on the top of a bookshelf, under the bed. Where, where, thought Priyanka. So now only Priyanka knew about this turtle, isn't it? So she thought, where can she hide this uh, baby turtle? Grandmother shouldn't know about it, isn't it? So she decided to hide it in the cupboard, on top of the bookshelf, or where? Under the bed. She had already decided to keep Kirti as her pet. So now she wanted to hide this baby turtle from her grandmother. So she went on thinking, where should she hide it so that grandmother doesn't come to know about this turtle. Now, the next paragraph. In the end, she decided to take Kirti without her shoebox. On school holidays, she would take it to the beach for a stroll. It would lumber a distance and she would watch. Kirti lived in the school bag most of the time. When Priyanka reached home, she would deposit it in a broken cup for a swim and then place it in the shoe box in the night for sleep. Soon, when the broken cup was too small for the turtle, Priyanka borrowed a cracked tub from baby mall. So in the end, she decided to keep Kirti without a shoe box. But she did uh, keep it hidden from her grandmother. Okay, So on school holidays, she would take it to the beach for a, a walk. The word stroll means a walk. And she would enjoy seeing this tiny turtle walking for a short distance. Lumber means to walk with difficulty. So she would enjoy seeing this baby turtle walking with great difficulty. Short distance only just to walk. Okay. And most of the time, this turtle lived inside a school bag. Whenever she came back from school, or whenever she reached home, she would keep it in a broken cup for a swim. It's a turtle, isn't it? It enjoys walking or swimming in water. And when this turtle started growing a bit bigger, she changed this small cup and replaced it with a cracked tub. A tub, you can say. And who gave it to her? It was again baby mall. So Priyanka, in fact, took a lot of help from Baby Mall. Baby Mall helped her to know about the turtle, 
what should be given to it to eat and even she helped by giving her a small tub, a cracked tub so that this turtle can live inside that. Now I move on to the next paragraph. Grandmother noticed that Priyanka was not up to her usual mischief. In fact, she seemed to avoid getting in the way of the old lady. She eyed Priyanka with suspicion when she was politely asked for cabbage and bits of vegetable leftovers. Grandmother continued to doubt Priyanka when she tried to finish her homework with great difficulty. There were no complaints from school either. For once, Priyanka had someone to talk to. Kirti seemed to listen to her. Now Priyanka had changed a lot, children. When this turtle came, Priyanka changed a lot. Initially, she was a very mischievous girl. A lot of complaints used to come from school also. And she used to struggle to complete her homework. But now, she changed. She tried her level best to become a good girl. Because she had to finish her work on time, isn't it? She had to take care of this baby turtle. The word mischief means naughtiness. Leftovers means the bits of food particles or vegetables which was left. Eyed with suspicion means to doubt. So, grandmother noticed that Priyanka was changing. Something changed in Priyanka. She was not as naughty as before. Moreover, Priyanka started avoiding grandmother. Priyanka always had a fear that grandmother may come to know about this baby turtle. So she started avoiding coming in the way of that old grandmother. Grandmother doubted Priyanka when Priyanka used to politely ask for cabbage leaves or bits of vegetable leftovers. And Priyanka even tried to finish her homework very fast, okay? And there were no complaints from school. So on the whole, you can say Priyanka had changed. Why did she change children? Because she had someone to talk to. Who was that? It was the baby turtle. And Priyanka felt that the baby turtle was listening to her. Whenever she used to talk, the baby turtle seemed to listen to her. Priyanka had become very busy suddenly. Why children? She had to take care of the turtle, isn't it? She had to take it out for a swim. She had to take it out for a stroll. She had to give food. She had to carry it. She had to change it from the broken cup to the big tub. So much work to be done. So she became a bit more disciplined. Now I move on to the last page, page number 52. There were no time to play pranks anymore either in school or at home. She listened to the lessons being taught and she did her homework quickly and intelligently. But nobody realized that the real reason for Priyanka's good behavior was that she was happy and felt loved and had someone to love. So Priyanka became a good girl now. There was no time to play pranks. Pranks means to play tricks or jokes on others. Earlier she used to crack jokes or play pranks on her friends or even on her grandmother at home. Priyanka was regular in doing her work now. She was attentive in class also. Why did she change children? She changed because she had a friend, somebody with whom she could spend some time. She loved Kirti and she was very sure that Kirti the baby turtle also loved her. When you have a good friend, you feel so happy, isn't it? You enjoy playing, talking, sharing things and discussing and even helping each other. Priyanka was lonely earlier, but now she was very happy. She talked to Kirti and took care of it. So you see how keeping a pet at home changed Priyanka. She became responsible in her work and she also became a very happy child. Her behavior only changed. 
Now we come to the end of the third module.